What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Zoe with No Days Off DFS here to bring you that NBA preseason breakdown for the three game preseason slate we got today. If you guys are new here and you haven't done so already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content I'm rolling out over here on the channel. And drop a like if this video or any of the other videos I put out have helped you guys win any money. Um, it's the preseason, man. Like I said before, I'm so glad to see uh, basketball is back. Uh, we, we had some games yesterday. Unfortunately, was not able to cover that with all the sports that we had going on. It is quite a lot. Um, but I'm here today. We only got NBA preseason today. We have uh, the what the showdown slate for NFL and then um, hockey that starts up tomorrow. Hopefully we can get into some hockey. Looking forward to actually getting into that this season. I did say that I plan on playing hockey this season and I am true true when I say that I plan on playing hockey this season, whether it be props or also, um, DraftKings doing some breakdowns and stuff over here for that as well. Like I've said time and time again, if I'm going to break it down, if I'm going to look at it, if I'm going to play it, I will put out the content and stuff for you guys. And with that being said, if you guys want to follow and find any of the content I'm putting out, my player pool, my cores, the prop plays, all that stuff, I am putting all that out in the link down below on that Patreon right there. Check that out. You get everything that I'm talking about. Not only my stuff, but everyone else over here with the No Days Off crew, we are putting out information and stuff for you guys up on the Patreon. So definitely, if you guys want to see it you don't want to miss it check that out over there and um when you sign up you also get into our discord and you can chat it up with us inside the discord we got some really great hitters inside the discord as well so definitely you guys don't want to miss out on any of that info all right so getting into to this preseason if you guys are new and have not played preseason before uh definitely check out DraftKings. i know FanDuel has it as well but um for the nba season i will be focused on DraftKings anyway because i like their scoring uh platform it is just exactly the same as WNBA, uh, double, double, triple, double bonuses, uh, three points, you know, uh, the extra 0.5 that they give us for all that turnovers are, are minus 0.5 and all that good jazz over here. Just DraftKings to me, uh, generally is pretty good, especially because, um, the positions for the players normally are correct in regards to, you know, being power, uh, point guard, shooting guard, uh, power forward center, small forward, power forward type stuff. Uh, I just love the, the breakdown and everything that they have over here for that. And it's taken a while for uh, FanDuel to catch up on, on those aspects. So if you guys don't have a draft, account check the link down in the description below so you guys can get that deposit match bonus and join me over here on the king all right so um some of the games uh some teams we are actually gonna be getting their their second game of preseason uh like boston celtics they played yesterday and um the the lakers they played two days ago so uh boston celtics yesterday they played going up against the 76ers i got that box score for us right here and looking at it it looks like their starters they played pretty heavy minutes 27 uh 25 ish minutes for the, the main guys on um the celtics you know porzingis went out there man Porzingis on on the celtics that's just that's crazy to even think that jalen uh that tatum brown and Porzingis technically makes up a pretty decent big three over there uh, for them. And then you got Al Horford out there, his slow, dusty, busty ass. And then um, they're white. So I, I can, I guess I can understand and see uh, why they originally didn't mind giving up. Uh, Marcus Smart, but now you also have Drew Holiday. I know he played off the bench. I don't expect for for these guys that log those minutes to start. Us. I would be surprised if they played. I'm pretty sure that they logged them those heavy minutes yesterday because they knew they were on a back to back, and I don't expect for them to play today um, on the slate. So Tatum, Porzingis, White, Brown, Horford, um, Drew Holiday. I would be honestly shocked if they actually log any minutes today. Of course, you're going to want to pay attention to news. Even if they say that they're going to play, I would actually expect them to play maybe uh, not even a, a quarter, uh, maybe just a quarter uh, of basketball. I would not expect them to play any crazy behind minutes at all whatsoever. That would just be madness if you actually had them out there again. It's the preseason. It's not like like we're gearing up for the, the dress rehearsal right away um, just yet. And if it was the dress rehearsal, Drew Holiday would actually start it. All right, so looking at it i would expect us to look more towards the bench guys uh the, these guys off of the bench for boston and they're, they're kind of cheap uh some of them in that aspect so um uh, minus all all these guys up here would definitely be looking more towards the peyton pritchard who we saw yesterday uh went off uh, 23 minutes dropped 26 points four assists and two rebounds you know he's out there he's a sniper he's going to take those three-point shots so he was uh he was sniping pretty good out there uh savima high luke he's a, he's pretty score independent but i would more trust uh peyton pritchard right there in that position uh luke um Cornette, I don't believe that he played. He played 13 minutes yesterday. He is the backup center. I would expect for him to possibly start at the center position, log some decent minutes. Remember, they don't have Time Lord there anymore. So um definitely though those backup uh center spot minutes are, are gonna be there. I'd expect Cornette. He is a pretty decent fantasy point per minute player whenever he's actually playing out there and he gets the burn. I would expect more than just those two shots, but the rebounds are there for him. Um and definitely he is also one of those stretch bigs that can knock down some three point shots. I would not be surprised if he actually logs uh some decent minutes as as well um O'Shea Bruschetti uh him as well definitely would expect for him to, to log some more minutes so um some of these cheap guys these guys that were on the bench yesterday that really didn't log uh any crazy uh minutes or even even our young guys like Peyton Pritchard 
Um, I would expect for them to get, and Sam Hauser, I would expect for them to get the burn today over the starters. So we're definitely looking towards some of the Boston cheapies as a position and plays that we can go to. I am still looking to wait, get some news and things like that to be able to put out for in regards to who is going to play, who's going to sit for Boston. So definitely uh, check the link down in the description below so you guys can get um, the Twitter account for No Days Off. I will be reposting, and I'm reposting a lot of stuff. As soon as I see it, I'm getting it up uh, to you guys so way you guys can follow along with the news uh, with me. And again, I mean, you'll have this if you check out the Patreon, my player pool. It'll have literally up to date who's playing, who's not playing, and um, those things like that on there. But um, for Boston, I think the biggest thing, we just have to really see who are they going to start. Luckily, it's the first game of the night. Um, depending on who they start, those will be the players I would expect to, to log that the heavier minutes for them. Um, definitely going to want to pay attention to who's the best point per minute uh, player out there because we know preseason is all about the minutes, the production that they can get. But of course, Peyton Pritchard, if they're going to start him, I definitely have a lot of interest in him. Uh, Luke Cornette, that would be a cheap center play that you can go with today. Definitely don't mind him. Oskedi Braschetti, uh, definitely him. Um, as well, Sam Hauser, uh, more lower down on the total pole for me, but rather take um, Pritchard and then maybe um, uh, JD Davis. I uh, wouldn't mind him if he was actually like starting to get some minutes or something like that. Now, going over to the New York Knicks side, I know in years past we've always had this thing Tibbs. Tibbs is going to run his players, Tibbs is going to play his players. But if we actually look at last season, I haven't really seen too much for the Knicks, but I uh, found the box scores from last season. And it, uh, if we look at it and we see. Um, the Knicks and Tibbs. Tibbs, Tibbs uh, in the past has normally ran his starters out there for close to 30 minutes as if he was simulating a real game. But over the last couple of years, he's actually toned it down. As we can see, his starters out here, they played roughly close to 20 minutes each uh, would be about the average of what they all played. Um, and I would expect more or less kind of the same for them again here today. You got your returning starting lineup coming out there, except for Evan Fournier. Uh, Fournier, he's definitely not uh, starting out there for the Knicks at all whatsoever. But um, you got Brunson, you got uh, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, uh, Michael Thomas, Michael, uh, sorry, Michael Robinson, and um, more than likely, didn't they just sign somebody too? It's probably going to be like a Quentin Grimes because uh, that, that's who they actually signed. Quentin Grimes. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he would actually be the uh, the starter there uh, for them. So uh, that's that's what's going to be interesting. I definitely do have some interest in the Knicks starters simply because, uh, you know, they should actually run um, a decent rotation minutes. Then, of course, we're going to be looking at some of the bench players. Of course, just looking at uh, last season, what sticks out straight up. Iman quickly. We already know he's a fancy point per minute player himself. The shot. He's going to chuck. He's going to shoot. Um, he's definitely one of those players. Gets the ball in his hand. It's going to fly. And I'm um, very productive in, in these kind of settings, these preseason settings. Uh, where, you know, he could be the, the focal point and one of those guys that are just going to go out there and shoot and try to win. Um, so definitely looking at it. I do have some interest in Randall Brunson. If they're going to, you're telling me they're going to at least get about 18 to 20 ish minutes. I definitely will have some interest in them. RJ Barrett, he'd be more eh, um, just not, not all there for me. And then plus RJ Barrett, he did play uh, this summer for team Canada. So not exactly too sure how many minutes RJ would actually log considering that he did play ball all summer. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe he only plays 15 or so minutes or, or if he just actually sits today, I have not seen anything yet to confirm this for the Knicks. I have been trying to find information, but unfortunately, some of these teams, they, they really just haven't been talking to the media. But um, quickly, of course, at 5'7", really do like him. Uh, Josh Hart, that's who who the other starter could possibly be. Uh, Hart or, or Quentin Grimes, uh, either one of these guys. Um, yeah, Hart, he's more of a 3 and D player, not really someone I want to go to. And Hart also did play uh, this summer as well. So maybe uh, some rest for him in this game. Quentin Grimes, a little bit of interest in him, but really just going to be quick while I have that 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 main interest in for me, especially off the bench. And then uh, Jalen Brunson and um, Julius Randle. And I know Brunson, he did play quite a bit uh, overseas as well. So maybe maybe we might not see uh, heavy minutes for Brunson um, here in this spot. Um, coming out here for guys off the bench, really not too interested. I have seen some rumors about Evan Fournier. He feels like he can definitely be a contributor to some winning basketball for the Knicks. So maybe we could see uh, Evan Fournier come out here and just try to light it up, uh, knock it down for three, be the Peyton Pritchard of today. Um, I would take a flyer on him, not someone that I feel like you have to have in your lines if you're going to play uh, him today. But uh, definitely for sure, Hartenstein, we already know he is a fantasy point per minute producer himself. When he gets out there, he is the backup center. Going to be coming in there for um, Robinson whenever he's, he's off the – the hardwood and then we'll see um, him out there and then a little bit interesting Isaiah Roby um, just from his Thunder days I do know that he could be a fantasy point per minute producer himself whenever he gets to run and he gets to play uh, but not someone that is high up on the totem pole uh, definitely going to be way 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 down there but definitely would rather get uh, Hardenstein if I'm taking everything and then uh, maybe some DiVincenzo um, definitely another signing I know that they're they're pretty glad to have what DiVincenzo Brunson um, Hart and uh, was it Quint Grimes something like that not Quint Grimes but uh, DiVincenzo Hart uh, Brunson and someone else um, together that 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 group right there um, for them so uh, DiVincenzo don't mind him if they start him 
Like, if some of these players start like uh, DiVincenzo, they start quickly or something like that, really would not mind them at all. But still, for me, Randall, he's going to be the main player that I'm going to want to get uh, to right there. And then if they actually say the Brunson is going to play, he's going to at least play 20-plus minutes. Uh, this is his team. Again, will not mind him at all. All right, so moving over to the San Antonio Spurs taking on my OKC Thunder. Um, for the for the Spurs, this is going to be our first look and our first crack at Victor Wimbayama. I will say that I think it's merit to at least have him in one line for today. Um, no matter what you feel, no matter how you, how you think about it or how they're going to play his minutes, but it's going to be our first actual crack of maybe possibly halfway seeing him play in a NBA setting. And it's going to be really interesting that, that he's actually going to be going up against someone who can possibly match up stature-wise-ish with him and uh, Chet Holmgren on the other side, who is going to also be his rookie campaign playing for my Thunder uh, this season. So it'll be, be, be really interesting. But Vic, uh, 6900, definitely will have him in at least one line. I don't think that you can go wrong with that. Just go ahead and play the dude. He can block. He can... Um, he can steal, he can rebound, he can score. All, all the things that he does, we're going to actually get to see it uh, in play and see how it's going to roll with this actual offense with uh, Devin Vassal, um, Trey Jones, uh, these guys out here. Definitely other two plays I will have interest in will be Vassal and Jones. If you're not going to play Vic or at least have him in one of your lines, especially if you're mme uh Vassal, he'll be the next player that I'll be going to. And then uh, Jones will be another one that I do have a lot of interest in. Um, I want to say Sohan and uh, Johnson, they're supposed to be out. Uh, they did not play in their scrimmage that they, they had the other day. Something about uh, soreness, if I'm not mistaken. Um, da, 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 yep, general soreness. So uh, if they're going to miss today, definitely will be looking more towards the facade, the Jones. But if they're going to actually be in, um, maybe I'll look towards um, Kelton Johnson just because he's a pretty good uh, good player, good fantasy point per, per minute producer himself as well. But, of course, the main play right there is going to be Vic. So definitely keep an eye on these guys right here if they're going to be in or out. Um, definitely uh, check the Twitter. I will be reposting if I actually do see some news in regards to that. Now, um, off the bench, really, I have no interest in any of these guys off the bench. Maybe a Savi Mama Shabla Blah 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 um, yeah, I want to see you guys try to say that 10 times fast. Um, definitely maybe some interest in him. We do know his time when he was with the Bucks. He actually he can go out there. He can ball. Um, definitely a, a scorer and can also rebound and uh, play some defense as well. Uh, especially, you know, he should be coming in there, maybe get about 15 or 18 or so minutes. Definitely wouldn't mind him off the bench, uh, especially if they're going to limit what we get to see from Victor and Zach Collins out there. And then uh, Bassey, if you guys remember what he did last season, man, this kid, uh, when he was getting the run and he was getting the burn, Zach Collins was out or he was just rotating with Zach Collins out there. Man. He was cheap. He was, look, 3,900, dropped 30 fantasy points uh, right here, 3,900, 26 fantasy points. Of course, when they priced him up, that's when we had to uh, hop off him. But uh, he was definitely a fantasy per minute producer for us uh, last season uh, when we were riding that riding that, that, that high with him. Um, definitely don't mind looking at some Charles Bassey. He would be someone that would be way, way lower down on the totem pole for me. But uh, definitely an option that you could possibly go to um, with with everything that, that uh, we have going on over here for the Spurs. Now, looking at my OKC Thunder. So, if you guys remember and recall, SGA played, um, SGA and Dort, they both played overseas. Same thing for Josh Giddy. They played in the, the World Cup stuff. So, not really too sure how many minutes Josh Giddy is going to log here, but we already got word that SGA, he's going to be out for today's game. He is not playing. Uh, with that being said, Giddy, I definitely will have some interest, even though he did play overseas. We already do know when SGA is out, the offense is going to flow through Giddy. It's going to flow through uh, J-Dub, which is going to be Jalen Williams. Um which is this Jalen Williams, not the center Jalen Williams, the power forward Jalen Williams. It's going to flow through Jalen Williams. Um, Dort, not really someone that, that that is a fancy poor minute producer. He is our 3 and D type player, not someone that you have to go to. And then again, I don't know how many minutes uh, both of these guys are going to actually log. So my favorite play from my Thunder, of course, is going to be Jalen Williams. Um, if you watched him in Summer League, the, the dude went out there and dominated those those guys like it was no matchup whatsoever. It was ridiculous what he was going out there doing. And much of the same, I would expect that today. Going up against Spurs team, preseason, not everyone's trying full 100%. Um, and just the usage is going to be there with no SGA. In many of the games last season when SGA was out, we looked to Jalen Williams, and he stepped up big in those spots. I understand Josh Giddey, he's going to be out there, possibly have the ball in his hands. Well, not possibly. We'll have the ball in his hands. But again, um, just the fact that he played for Australia over the summer, I'm not going to go too heavy with Josh Giddy. Yeah, my main priority will be Jalen Williams. Then, of course, I really feel like you got to have one line, at least with Chet, because you never know what he's going to go out there and do. It'll be our first actual true NBA experience. And I'm not talking about summer league. I'm talking about, like, real actual NBA game-type flow somewhat that we get to see him. And he's going up against uh, Victor Wembanyama. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what he goes out here. He brings multi-entering. I just want to have him at least one lineup. I just I, I can't can't not play him in one line. That's probably going to be me for the whole season is that I'm going to have to at least have him in one line. Uh, like I said, Dort, nah. Victor Oladipo, he's out with that injury. Alexis um he sustained a right arm sprain during the offseason workout, and he'll be reevaluated. So, 
Oh, that was back in September. Um, really, I haven't seen anything about Poku, even during training camp. All right, so coming out here to the bench, looking at our bench, guys, Kendrick Williams, I'm not even going to mess with that. Uh, he is our vet. Really no reason for Kendrick to go out there and log major minutes. Uh, last season, he also did end the season because he had a wrist sprain or a wrist injury, so he was out for quite some time. Uh, Jay Will, I don't mind going to Jay Will. Uh, he can definitely do dirty work, rebounding. He can score a little bit. Uh, definitely a stretch big as well. He can knock down those threes. But I would much rather go to Isaiah Joe, Trey Mann, um, Aaron Wiggins, and Usman Dang. Those would be the bench roulette players that I would go to for the Thunder because these guys that actually produce uh, when they're out there. Isaiah Joe, you already know, he is a uh, three-point sniper. Knocks down those three-point shots. Trey Mann, same thing. Uh, he can definitely he can get to the rim. He's very crafty with the ball in his hands. Um, if he's going to actually have the usage, really don't mind that for him right there. Um, Carson Wallace or Kaysan Wallace. We don't know what he is or what he's going to do yet. He has some pretty good games in preseason, but again, he's going to be one of those players. I'm going to have to wait and see how he's going to actually do in the NBA and what he's going to going to play his role, things like that. I really haven't seen a clear cut his role for him. Um, this would be something for going into the regular season, though. I've seen high praise for him coming out of training camp. All the players are actually talking about him. And uh, this is one of the guys that SGA, the leader on the Thunder, has also come out and said, like, he is the next guy up. Definitely watch out for him. And he pegged that last season for uh, for J-Dub. So uh, SGA, pretty good talent, pretty good uh, eye for evaluating talent as well, apparently. So um, I will definitely have an eye on Kaysan uh, for the season. But for this first preseason game, I just got to see exactly his role and how he's going to actually function out there. So I'm going to go with more of what the, the known uh, for these players. Um, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, not, I feel like uh, J, J Will has a better upside than um, JRE at this point. Aaron Wiggins, if he's actually going to play, he's a really great producer, um, good player out there. And then Oos, Oos, uh, honestly, the second coming to Paul George. I'm joking. Um, maybe I'm not. But I heard that he actually grew a couple of inches again over the summer. The kid is uh, still falling out into his body. But high praise for him as well coming out of training camp, the aggression that he's actually playing with, getting to the hoop. Um, very lanky uh, guy, can actually knock it down. And if he's flowing like what he was in summer league, Definitely will have some interest in him as well. Another cheap player that we can go to that should uh, see some decent minutes here in this preseason game. Uh, Bertans, Johnson, th these guys that we really shouldn't even worry about. He's a vet. D doubt that he's going to actually even play any uh, minutes or something like that. But uh, that's really going to be it for the Thunder. So main play is definitely going to be uh, Jalen Williams, um, the J-Dub, the power forward guy. And then uh, secondary will be maybe a Josh Giddy, depending on how many minutes he's actually going to be able to play. And then off the bench, Isaiah Joe, Trey Mann, um, Aaron Wiggins, and then Oos. And if I have to rank them, it'll be Isaiah Joe, uh, Oos, and then Trey Mann, and uh, so on from there. All right, going over to the Brooklyn Nets, taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. I'll do the Lakers first since uh, we actually already seen them play. So LeBron James and Austin Rudes, they sat out, sat out of that first game. I would honestly expect for them to play here in this game uh, since they sat out the last one. I want to say the Lakers have six preseason games, and LeBron is supposed to be playing in at least half of them. Um, so last season, what actually happened uh, for the Lakers is that in the first game, um, both – Got to pull it back up. In the first game, both Anthony Davis and LeBron James, they played in that first game, as you can see right here. Now, the second game that they played for the preseason, AD sat out of that game. So I'm kind of just going on, on a whim, just, just guessing, that I would ex expect Anthony Davis to possibly sit in this game and they go ahead and they run LeBron James here in the spot. Uh, if Bron plays, I mean, you, you can't go wrong technically playing the GOAT, playing the, the King James himself. I wouldn't mind that, but not a must-play priority play just because we know he's going to be going out there, going through the motions, the feelings. Um, I mean, he did drop 23 points, four assists, three rebounds in the game that he played. So, sorry. I guess if, if Bron was to play, definitely would uh, have some interest in him. Now, if both uh, Anthony Davis and LeBron James both miss, I definitely would have some interest in D'Lo just because uh, he's, he's going to have to play. Uh, but that's going to depend on if Bron and AD are out. So, uh, But if LeBron James is in, definitely play him. If Anthony Davis is, definitely you're going to be playing Bron. Uh, if both of them are in, then it's going to be like, eh, kind of, I think everybody takes a hit if they all play, but would probably more likely be Bron over everyone else. Uh, Christian Wood, if AD was to sit, I do have some interest in Christian Wood. He did turn it up, turn it on towards the end of the, um, the his time out there. Uh, so we'll definitely have some interest in him, but that's that's going to depend on if if uh, AD is out and if both AD and Bron are out. Definitely will have some interest in Christian Wood. So going off the bench, those are going to be really the guys that we're going to want to focus on. Uh, Rui, if you're going to tell me Rui is still going to get his minutes and burn out here, definitely will have some interest in Rui. He was one of the only players that actually played in the second half of the preseason game. Uh, going up against the Warriors here, and he looked pretty decent, pretty good out there. Went out there, he played 21 minutes, 12 points, uh, one block, one assist, seven rebounds. Uh, so he was out there, he was doing his thing as expected. So we'll have some interest in Rui if he is to play again here, but um, not not a must play, not not a definite play. But 4600, don't mind that. Uh, coming out here, Chris 
Safety and Hood uh, Schofen. I think I'm saying that right. These are going to be the two plays that I really will have a lot of interest in. Um, looking at what they did, Hood, seven points, uh, one block, two assists, six rebounds, uh, 23 minutes. And then Christian, second uh, most player played minutes off the bench, 15 points, uh, one steal, one assist, two rebounds. Both of those players will have a lot of interest in both of them. Um, even if Braun, AD, all of them are in or out, those are going to be the two main guys I'm going to want to play off of the bench for the Lakers. Everyone else, really not too much interest in. It's just like a roulette, trying to figure out who's going to actually do what. So I'm going to go more of the known uh, for those guys. All right. Going over to the Brooklyn Nets, again, another team. Not too much news has come out. Only thing that has come out is that Cam Johnson, he will not be playing today. He is out, so we will get no Cam Johnson. But um, starters, it should, possible starting line, it should be Mikael Bridges, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Claxton, Ben Simmons, and Royce O'Neal is going to be the expected starters. I want to say I retweeted something about that earlier today um, about that. So those are going to be the expected starters. Not exactly too sure concrete if that is going to be the starters. It has been said that Ben Simmons and Spencer Dinwiddie are both going to be taking the court at the same time. Um, that's interesting nonetheless. We haven't really seen any training camp um, images, anything, anything for the Brooklyn Nets so far uh, this this. Um, preseason of Ben Simmons what is he doing we have not seen any of it so I'm very interested to see how this is going to work has Ben Simmons actually worked on a shot I've seen the praises of that he's aggressive that he looks the best that he's looked in xyz amount of time so on and so forth but I have to actually see it on the court and see how that's going to look so uh Spencer Dinwiddie Bridges I, my favorite one of course for them is going to be Bridges just the usage and everything that he had last season uh he is a usage hog the dude he is going to chuck. He's going to rebound, play some defense, and he's a really good three-point shooter. So, Mikael Bridges, 6,800. Don't feel like you can go wrong right there playing that one right there. Uh, Dim Woody, I do not like him. Uh, his fantasy point production, his fantasy points per minute is horrible. I, I really don't like playing Spencer Dim Woody. He has to be cheap of cheap for me to really actually want to go there. And then the perfect matchup for me to actually want to play him and it's probably going to stand true for the uh, rest of the season Claxton if you want to mess with that I really feel like there's other centers we can go to on the slate Ben Simmons it's piqued my interest I do want to play Ben Simmons today just because it's, it's kind of just um mm -hmm. it's just it's, it's weird as it, he, he he has a mysterious factor going on and I I am going to play him cut dry I am going to play Ben Simmons um and I'll, in all honesty the small four position on the slate uh, it's not the juiciest, especially Tatum's out. Unless Brown plays, then we're not going to have that right there. Jalen Brown should be out for today. You can play Bridges right here in this spot. Uh, Kelvin Johnson, he might be out for today. Archie Barrett, I'm not fucking with that. Um, Austin Reeves, mm, eh, not with everyone else on the team. Cam Johnson, he's already out. Lou Dort, not playing. Hart, not playing. Ben Simmons down here for 300. You might as well go ahead and play that. Quentin Grimes, like, he's, he is technically the best fantasy point producer right here outside of LeBron James. Um, but really, it's just the price. So depending on how you're building out the rest of your line, the price, the price of 5300 for Ben Simmons, you might as well just go ahead and play it. Uh, so that's really kind of how I'm, I'm looking at that uh, right there for for the um, the Brooklyn Nets. Now, off the bench, of course, we can always go down here to uh, Sharp. We already know he's a fantasy point producer whenever he's out there. And then Cam Thomas, the boy's going to chuck. He's going to take those shots. He's going to shoot 50, 60 times uh, if he can. 29 uh, field goal attempts. Of course, that was in 43 minutes. But uh, he is a shooter. He's a shooter that's going to shoot, and he's going to shoot. Uh, Darius Baisley, maybe somebody I can have a little bit of interest in um, from our time when he was with Thunder. I know he's Playing to try to stay in the league is actually what Darius Baisley is doing right now. So maybe he comes out with some fire or something like that. Would honestly just a deep GPP deep play right there. You do not have to go down there, Darius Baisley. But all right, guys, that's gonna be the breakdown for me um, on this for today. If you guys are wanting to see player pool props or um, my court and all that good stuff, definitely check out the link down in the description below for the Patreon. I will get all that up for you guys later on. Um, if you guys are have any questions or anything, just hit me up down inside of the chat. I will try to answer every question whenever I see it. And also um, hit me up inside the Discord. I will answer those um, in there as well. I already know that price picks. I want to say that the preseason board actually is not up yet for the NBA. So unfortunately, I won't have any props out anytime soon. But um, but yeah, uh, definitely check back check back later. I will try to get out some um, stuff for the showdown slate for the um, Packers taking on the Raiders. So hopefully that video will be going up shortly after this one is live and up for you guys. So uh, with that being said, it's your boy Zoe and I am out.